Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. In this video, I am going to talk to you about the best March bolos that were posted in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group by members of the group and members of my YouTube channel. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And some of these bolos are going to knock your socks off. So let's get started here with the first one. This one comes from Flippin' It Good, and this is his youtube channel definitely go check him out he does a lot of retail arbitrage where he goes into like ross and tj maxx no not tj maxx i used to go to tj maxx ross burlington and then he also buys um lost cargo and stuff like that so check out his channel lots of fun but here's an example of an item he picked up at ross he said, I found these at Ross for $29.99. They sold on eBay for $180 plus shipping. These are Adidas Predator Soccer Cleats. And this is what they look like. And he sells cleats like crazy. Um, here's another one. I found them at a yard sale. I paid $20 and they were new with the box. I took an offer of $199 plus shipping on eBay. They are ta ta uh, ta ta ta. <laughs> Tony Llama, women's size eight and a half lizard, black lizard, Western boots. And this is what they look like. The next one he found also at Ross for $34.99. These are Converse Star Run Motion Platform shoes. They sold on Poshmark for $170 plus shipping and they took two weeks to sell. Wow. I have never seen any type of shoe like that. So, um... Somebody put, I almost bought a pair of these from Ross weeks ago because weird sells and these shoes are crazy. I passed them up. They were $29.99. Seeing them sell over, all over for so much. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, he does a great job of knowing what to pick up retail arbitrage. Um, I used to do a lot of RA clothing, but um, kind of dabbled in shoes. But man, oh man, he knows his shoes. So definitely check out his channel. This one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. Right here is her YouTube channel. And she is a moderator of the Facebook group. So go over and sub her up and tell her thank you for helping out in the Facebook group. She said, this is, a, is the second set of Disney Park Mickey specialty ears I have sold this month. They are always good pickup and I find them at the bins pretty often for pennies on the dollar. I purchased this one at a yard sale for a dollar. Sold for full asking price plus shipping. So they are, it's like a Minnie Mouse headband and she sold it for $44.99 and got it at a yard sale for $1. So if you hear me shout out a YouTube channel or an eBay store, that means they are members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. This channel, there's a join button down below if you would like to have a mention in the video and get linked down in the description, you can join at level two. You can share, it's completely free. This is just if you want the perks. Another wonderful item from Donatella Bottolino came in a banana box with other items. She has awesome dibble boxes, always very, very packed with great items. All right. So this one is a, I'm trying to read it. It's kind of small. Honey Suckle Easter Bunny Rabbit by Russ. Lifelike face, lace dress, 12 inch plush vintage. This is what it looks like. It looks like it sold for $35.95 plus shipping. And uh, Donatella Bottolino is a YouTube channel. This is her YouTube channel. She is a Bolo Buddies member as well. And she does live selling events on her channel, but she is focusing more on whatnot right now. And her uh, whatnot is just her first name, Donatella. And if you want to join whatnot, I have a link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you use my referral link to join whatnot. And you can basically go over there and people sell live. It is completely awesome. I absolutely love it. I am Bolo Buddies over there, all one word. Definitely follow me. That link will take you to follow me as well. So if you're already on whatnot, you can use that link to follow me. But check out Donatella on whatnot. All right, this one came from T Auctions for You, who also does YouTube auctions, and she is also on Whatnot as 
capital T auctions for you. So definitely go and follow her on whatnot as well. And then auctions for you on YouTube. I will link her down below. Um, another awesome box packed to the rim with good stuff sold in less than a week for full asking price. So appreciate what you do because it makes me feel special when you show my solds. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. And thank you for sharing. And it's pretty awesome that she picked these up from, uh, Donatella and T. So this one is from T. It is a Fuji color complimentary table lighter, new old stock with box advertised scene. So it's Fuji color film. Check that out. It sold for $48.98 uh, plus shipping. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Stellar Seller Sam. And this is her YouTube channel. And she is new to YouTube channel, but you would never guess by her videos. Her editing skills are awesome. Uh, let's see. I am still new to reselling, so I don't pay up. I've been sourcing cheap until I learn more. This plate caught my eye and I paid $15 for it. Most I've paid on an item to date. Got an offer for $135 and they paid shipping. It was signed on the back of, by the artist and said Italy. And this is what it looks like. It says vintage LB Italy Fratelli. Oh boy. Franchelica Uki? <laughs> I don't know what that says. Just look at it. Um, but anyway, yeah, she picked it up for $15 and sold it for $135. Knickerbocker Plush is a good name to look for. Got this at an estate sale, paid $1, took a while to sell, but got full asking price and my favorite eBay feedback of all time. So it is a vintage stuffed animal. This is what it looks like. And it's a big 28 inch stuffed bear sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And it says, um, and this is from Jersey Shore Thrifter. He has been a follower of the channel since almost the very beginning. So thank you, Jerry, for always sharing on this post as well. So the feedback he got, it says he is such in perfect condition and very thankful. Heart, my sister, she had one just like him. He had lighter color, but he is so perfect. He looks just like her Chester. That's what his name was. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. And he is in such great condition and that we're in love. Thank you. So that is one thing that is so cool about selling plush is there's people that have these childhood memories. They're nostalgic and people look for plush. So um, things sometimes are long tail with plush, but there's usually a buyer out there. He said, by the way, this oversized plush was shipped out wrapped in shrink wrap, then taped up snugly in a contractor bag. It looked like I was shipping a small body, but my buyer clearly didn't mind. So instead of shipping it in a box, he just protected it with a saran wrap and a contractor bag, which is pretty common. All right, this next item, it says, we found this new with tags jacket at the DAV, which stands for Disabled American Veterans Thrift. We're veterans, so we received 10% off and bought it for only $9. When out thrifting, always look up camo outer, outerwear. That is not the tree or leaf print because many are not hunting and fishing items, but rather highly desired military pieces. Our military branches partner with American outerwear companies like Patagonia and Adventure Tech to make cold weather gear that meet their high requirements. We had a watcher within an hour of listing who messaged us about this reversible day-night camo jacket. Camo jacket, sorry. It was listed at $298, and we accepted an offer of $268. He paid fast and has already left great feedback. We hope everyone is having a good march. So it's Adventure Tech Men's Large Camo Gore-Tex Outdoor Water Windproof Hood Zip Jacket. And this is what it looks like. So that was fantastic information. Definitely something that I didn't know about. And you can see what she means by the pattern here. The next one comes from um, eBay store, Find Lots For You. And this is what it looks like. She is a Bolo Buddies member. And she said, my husband went to our local thrift store and found this. He paid $20 and it sold on eBay auction for $265. It is a vintage MKI Kamen Stein World of Motion Steam Engine Train Teapot Kettle in box number 613. Hmm, never seen anything like that. This is also from Finds. Find lots for you. 
She said, I picked these up at a thrift 20 miles from my house for 50 cents. Sold them in two months for a best offer of $20. And you guys know I love this one. They are 1980s Goody Hair Clincher Clip Banana Comb Ponytail Holder. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, anything vintage Goody hair accessories, you're going to want to pick those up. They can do really well. This one also comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. And she said, I purchased these Bernstein. Okay. I always thought it was Bernstein, but I think it's Bernstein. I don't know. I think I've always said it wrong. Bears, plush family toys from Dollar Tree. They were selling individually for $1.25 each, but I knew it may be hard to find all the characters in order to resell as a set. We do with. We do have a Dollar Tree store in our area, but I decided to purchase a mixed case of characters online, 48 total pieces. Each set shipped was a little less than $6. I sold some sets immediately at Christmas and sold two sets in one day in March. The sets are selling at full price of $18.99 plus shipping. I plan to buy another case or two this week. Okay, so I am I guess she got them from Dollar Tree. Huh. New PBS Kids Berenstain Bears. Berenstain. I'm just going to say Berenstain. That's how I've always said it. Uh, plush toys. Cartoon Mama, Papa, Sister, and Brother. So it's all four of them. They're kind of cut out in the picture, so it's kind of hard to see, but they're all four there. So $18.99 and the buyer paid shipping. This next one says Plato's Closet. Clearance 70% off. Who sources at Plato's Closet? If you source there, let me know down in the comments. Um... She paid $4 and it sold for $60 on Poshmark. Nike, Nike, I always say Nike too. Nike men's Therma Sh Spear <laughs> Olive Hooded Training Jacket, size large. And this is what it looks like. I would have walked right past that. I received this in an estate sale lot for around a dollar. It's kind of boring, so it stayed in my death pile for a while. Eventually, I took it into my booth and marked it at $25, and it never sold. So I finally decided to put it on eBay, and I took a best offer of 40 plus shipping. So um, this one comes from Vintage Booth Pro. This is her YouTube channel, and she has... I think more than one booth. And she talks about that on her YouTube channel. So definitely check her out over there if you're interested in getting into like, you know, where you go into the stores and they have a bunch of booths. That's what she does. So she couldn't sell it in her booth. So she put it on eBay and sold it for 40. It's a Bombay Company mahogany brown wood jewelry box from 1993 made in Korea. I can't remember where I found this. Probably Goodwill. I took a best offer of 30 plus shipping. This also comes from Vintage Booth Pro. It is a handcrafted Old World Santa. It says 1888. Um, apples, Wasa, eight inch figurine Christmas vintage. I'm not sure what that word is. Uh, sold it for 39.80. Well, I'm sorry. It was listed for 39.87 and took a best offer of 30. So I see these Santas all the time. To me, I feel like 30 was probably, um, I, I wouldn't have expected to get 30 out of that. But, you know, they all vary a little bit. Some of them go for more than others. And she says she can't remember where she found it or what she paid for it. So, and then she's got one more here. This was another item that was in my booth forever. I included a video of the sound. It had a ton of interest and questions. I finally took an offer of 30 plus shipping. I found it at the Goodwill for $5. It's a hanging brass singing bowl, healing meditation, unique, hard to find. Never seen anything like that. That's what it looks like. Another item I would have walked right past. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Flippin' Hot Finds. That is her eBay store, no YouTube channel, and she always finds really cool stuff. Uh, she does a lot of shopping at YouTube auctions, and this one came from Auctions For You. I mentioned her earlier in the video. Again, Auctions For You. She said, I bought a lot of Spanish Latin CDs from T Auctions for You. I'm in it for $3.40 a piece. Sold four so, for, so far with many more listed. This is a rare Ray Rodrigue Rodriguez and orchestra. It's kind of cut off, but it sold for $74.99. Oh my goodness. And then this one is Rogello Beto. I don't know. Another looks like maybe orchestra CD sold for 50 bucks. Did you guys know that these orchestra CDs could sell for so much? Wow. That is incredible. Sold the rest of my English 
Angora Rabbit Wool, used for spinning and felting. This was three different colors in separate bags. It went international and the buyer asked me to bundle it because it, it, would, it wouldn't allow her combined shipping or invoicing. I accidentally put nine ounces of the white. It was one ounce. So a total of eight ounces. Again, I had nothing but time in it. A uh, vintage Smirnoff vodka bottle sold for full asking price of $150.84 plus buyer paid shipping. I paid $3.69 for it in a local online estate sale, lot of random glass items. This sale was obviously on Etsy, but I also sell on multi-platforms using List Perfectly. I love it. My buyer personally messaged me to tell me how pleased he was with the bottle and how well packed it was. So it says vintage Smirnoff bottle, one gallon with bar shot pump, vodka glass, man cave decor. So number one, she mentioned List Perfectly, which I also use. And if you guys are new to the channel, you haven't heard me talk about it. If you've been here a while, I talk about it all the time because I absolutely love it. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post my items. I start them on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. And if you would like to check out how it works, there is a demo video down in the description. If you watch that and it looks like something that you would benefit from, which you definitely will, um, getting more eyes on your items is really important in my opinion. So I always say more platforms, different eyes, more eyes. There's people that shop on those other platforms that do not shop on eBay. And um, vice versa, if you just sell on Mercari or Poshmark, you may be missing out on those eBay sales. So you can cross post or you can list to the catalog. I show you how to do all of that in the video. And if you like what you see, you can get 30% off your first month of list perfectly with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. This one comes from PNW Flips, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. And this is her... Um, what is it called? Her YouTube channel. But she that's her uh, eBay store name too. Found this at the Goodwill and they had $7.99 on it, but was color of the week. Was asking $40, but accepted an offer of $35 plus shipping. So I don't know what color of the week means. I'm guessing some sort of discount, maybe 50% off. She said, my eBay and YouTube are PNW Flips. It is an HP 951 XL color ink cartridge. Um, and it's the colors and it sold for 35 plus shipping. I think that some ink can't be sold internationally. I can't remember, uh, but definitely uh, it might be in one of my Vero videos. I feel like I remember hearing that, but not 100% sure. If anybody can verify, let me know down in the comments. This one comes from Follow Me for Fantastic Finds. That is her eBay store. This is what it looks like. She said, I'm still fairly new, so my bolos are not that big, but I'm still proud of them. I got these first two items from someone selling a whole lot of leftover yard sale items. I filled my SUV up for $30 worth of junk. Uh, oh, Crusade set a la Crusade. I'm probably saying that wrong. I say it wrong every time. I try. I really do, but I just can't get this one. Crusade? Crusade? <laughs> set for around 75 I was so nervous about the same word. I originally sold it for $102.50 on auction, but I wound up giving a $25 refund because she wasn't happy with the scratches, which I had mentioned. Nonetheless, still a great profit. Yeah, that's always a bummer when um, you sell something and you disclose it, but they don't pay attention to the details and then they are not happy and come back at you with a complaint. So um, this is what it looks like. And it even says in the title, shows where. So um, I'm sure she took photos and everything. So that is a bummer. Um, here's another one for follow me for fantastic finds. This was another item I got in my $30 car load, this pair of saddle Oxfords for 35. So it looks like, um, they are ladies shoes, size eight and a half and auction style. They actually sold for $36 plus shipping. And that's what they look like. I feel like I wore those as a kid. <laughs> Did anybody else wear those as a kid? Um, and she's got one more. This came out of my grandpa's barn. I'm cleaning out just two simple glass mugs free to me and sold for $20 set of Ravenhead England pint glasses, 16 ounce mug, 16 ounce mugs, thumb print design. 
and this is what they look like. Oh, and by the way, I had these at my garage sale for a quarter before I decided to list them. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Um, how many people take things out of their own garage sale to list on eBay while they're having the garage sale? Have you ever done that? I'm guessing a few of you had. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, this, there's probably going to be eight or nine videos this month for March because I had so many people that shared so many great bolos. So look for this series, watch for more videos to come. If you would like to share an April bolo, head on over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group under the featured slash announcements section. There is a post. Everyone is welcome to share a bolo. Um, if you would like to get that shout out or that mention, and have your link down in the description of the video. You can join Perks at level two. Um, there is a link in the description or a join button down below. It depends on which device you're on, whether or not you see that join button. So if you want the perks, you're welcome to join. If not, come on over and share a bolo for uh, free. Everybody's welcome to share. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.